I've been thinking about talking about this subject for a while now. Riding in Finland and riding in cold weather like this. It's actually minus 16 degrees at the moment. And even though the weather is beautiful, you are, can't deny that some of your body parts are susceptible to cold. Especially your fingers and your toes in your boots. So you better have a good adventure boot pair that has some insulation. And even better if it, they have some room for a couple of socks on top of each other. Wool sock first and then some normal tennis sock on top of that. That's the old army trick that I learned. It's going to create a layer of air around your foot and that's going to help you be warmer in these kind of conditions. I do use some electronic aids like my visor here. I have a plug for this cable. It's going to heat up the visor so it doesn't freeze up when I ride in these conditions. In general, I don't really like the idea of heated gear though. And there's a very good reason for that. If you are here in the middle of nowhere, I can scream all I want. Nobody's gonna hear me. And there's no cars coming by. There's nobody here. If you have heated vest, if you have heated gloves, if you have heated gear, if you rely on that heated gear completely, what if you, your bike breaks down? What if the heated gear runs out of battery? What is there, if there's a problem with the electronics? You might not die from it, but it's not gonna be fun walking the bike home in the freezing cold temperatures. I wear my clothes in a way that I can always stop and I can be warm with the clothes only. I don't need the electronic aids when I don't ride the bike. So even though I have a heated visor, I don't need this when I don't ride. So if the bike breaks down, if there's a problem with the electronics, I can always coast or walk the bike home or the nearest nearby house somewhere. I have this very good snowmobile jacket on top and then I have a lining here, the heated, uh, not heated, but <laughs> the temperature lining is here and it's a very thick coat. And underneath this one, I wear, let me get it open. This is actually nice, it's gonna button up below so no air is gonna come from down up into the jacket so that's very important so you don't freeze your lower back when you're riding so underneath that i have usually some kind of a technical shirt this is not very thick but it's going to create some insulation between the jacket and your undergear here and under here i of course always wear my protection so i have this panzer shirt with back protection chest protection and everything that's usually how this. This is a Scott shirt and I love this product. This is awesome. Very expensive but very nice. In summer, in winter I use the same thing. And underneath this one I only have a t-shirt. So it's just something in between me and the protective gear. I actually use the KTM Adventure pants in the winter time as well. I have the temperature lining in and then I have long sleeve underpants underneath this one and nothing else that's enough for in even in these conditions i'm not cold at all and then i already told you about the sock situation 10 out of 10 tip for you wool sock tennis shock and then your boots but these are the normal ktm adventure boots that i wear in the summertime as well i also can use my tech sevens if i want to but sometimes when i take this casual ride i just want to take this because these are a little softer and a little nicer in the in the feet of course you can have the socks on top of your handlebars, everyone's seen those. And I do own those, but I don't necessarily wear them every time. If I take an hour long trip, I don't necessarily need them. But heated grips is a must have. And what I use with the undergloves, I have these Rukka undergloves. I'm not sure if you can see them. Rukka Gore-Tex Infinium. These are just weatherproof under gloves these fit under basically any glove that you can buy another nice tip is i use these kind of gloves that are with two fingers you can two finger break you can two finger clutch and your fingers are not separated like this so it's going to be way way better for your fingers to be together like this underneath the glove so this is awesome even at minus 16 i can wear these gloves and I'm not gonna feel any cold. And if I do, in my fingertips sometimes, I just stop riding. I put my fingers in the fist and then in the glove. And it's gonna be fine after 10 minutes of break. I can just ride 15, half an hour after that. And it's gonna be okay. What I have in my helmet, I can show you that as well. 
I wear this underneath the snowmobile helmet. The reason I wear this kind of a hood is that the air from my mouth is going to go down. So it's not going to cause a problem, as big of a problem to the visor being fogging up and freezing up. So this is a very nice, not very comfortable to wear necessarily, but very nice solution to have. And then I just have this Chinese snowmobile helmet. And the visor is heated. You can find some heated goggles as well for the winter time. So that's going to help you see better in these conditions. But that's about it. You just need a positive attitude and you can have all the fun you want during the winter as well. There has been some videos where I showed you my tires, but I can show them to you here again. I use Enduro spikes. They are very long and very grippy under icy conditions, but they're horrible in tarmac and uh, hard packed roads where there's no ice and snow. But in this kind of road, they are perfect. You have better grip with those tires during winter than you have with any nobbies during summertime. So it feels so nice to just bomb these straights here and uh, carve the corners with those tires. It's, it's no problem for the little Honda. And also you want a light bike. Some people drive Tenere during the winter time, but I don't really like to do that. I like a light bike because if I get it stuck in the snow, I can just get it out by myself. I don't need any help because uh, Tenere can get stuck, like real stuck when you ride alone. And I do ride alone most of the time, so... Uh, Oh, this hoodie is not fun sometimes. So most of the time I ride alone and I need to have a bike that I can get out by myself and I need to have my clothing set up in a way that I'm not gonna freeze to death even if my equipment doesn't work or I don't get electricity or anything like that. So that's just a quick PSI on my equipment. I know this is a quick and hasty video but sometimes you just feel like you don't want to do anything fancy. So there you go. Bang!